Top of the morning. All right, well, I'm making a start on the, uh, on securing this diversion channel up at the fish farm today. Um, I'm just sort of sussing it out. I'm gonna um, have everything roughed out. I won't have all the posts in. I basically wanna get the material in, um, posts in strategic places to hold it. Um, and then I can come back with the actual, I'm just gonna do it with the sledge to start with. It seemed to go in pretty easy in this sandy bottom. So that's bloody handy. I was a little bit worried that um, I'd meet, I probably will now I've said that, I'll meet a load of granite bedrock, um, which is pretty prevalent around here. So um, anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into it. Uh, I'll keep you updated and uh, I'll show you the process as, it, as I get it done. All right, so the first section cut out, a 30 meter section, which I'm, I've already got one of the poles in. I'm gonna go up the, uh, I'm gonna go up the path there. Start get it set up. Right. Hopefully, it was playing about earlier on. Hopefully, it'll get do the job. Right. Okay. So first pole has been put in, and I've laid the eco fabric across all the eco. Um, uh, well, I don't even remember what it's bloody called. The the membrane that I'm using to secure this river, a eco span. So let's go. Um, I've got to try and get. All oh, right. So I've got two poles in really well. One not so good at the moment. So I'm going to put another one in here and then a few more as we go around the corner and just get it set up and then look at how it's, uh, how it's looking, the sort of height that I've got. Nice. Stick up that clacker. Nice. He's going in. Hard yakka. Let's get one more. Back in short.
Bloody Nora. I saw Yaka. Right. one.
finished off. Whew. Okay, we made a start. I'll show you what we're up to. All right, I'm blowing a bit. I'm bloody sledgehammering. Used to be able to do that all day. <laughs> now I can do about three of them and I'm rooted. Um, anyway, as you can see, I'll take you through it. I've roughed it in. <coughs> um, I'm shaking. Um, I've roughed it in. Um, I think it's going to do a bloody great job. It's going to obviously increase this width of this to start with as well as the height. Um, so I'll show you it and, uh, and then you can uh, see exactly what I've done. All right then, so this is that really low area just here that was causing all the major issues. So obviously now with this Nico span, what I'm going to be able to do is fully backfill this whole back area here up to the height of the Nico span. If I put rock on the bottom, I might even be able to bring this up a little bit more, but it's definitely going to be high enough. Um, we've never had it that high before. And uh, of course, there's never a never because you never know how big a storm's going to be. But this is the best that I can do. Um, and uh, I think it will do the job. Let me see, put it deep in there. But it's deep in here um, on this edge, obviously, because this is where it gets eroded. But there is actually a load of concrete still there doing a pretty good job. It's just a little bit too low. As you can see, this height's going to bring that up. All right. So there we go. That's it roughed in. Obviously, the main job now is to come and put these poles in, put them all in very right in properly, drive them right in. That means they're in about 800 to a metre, these poles. And they're every 500, so there's lots of them. And then what happens on the back here is over here, I'll drive one in and then have high tensile steel coming back to here, looped around there, looped around that, and then wound up so that this cannot move out and it gives it massive, massive strength. Obviously it's not gonna go in because this is all gonna be backfilled, um, but that's gonna do a bloody pucker job. Then I can fill all of this, get all this done with hardcore so it's always good to get around. And then we may have come to the end of the flooding issues. Bloody marvellous.